Hey guys, it's Brian from Airhead Garage, and I know it's not Friday, but it's Wednesday, and we're working on the Firebird today. And this video has been a oh oh, these are the hats. We have hats, and we have uh, shirts, sweatshirts. It's cold, it's winter time. So, anyways, I've been struggling with getting the tail lights to work on the Firebird. Um, new ignition switch. Uh, I went through all that, fuses, everything, and it comes down to well, you'll see in the video just what it takes to uh, get the lights working in the 6.7 Firebird tonight. Um, but they're working, and that's a win. So I'm going to shut up and let you guys uh, see the hassle I went through to try to get these lights going, and then I'll come back and we'll wrap this all up. All right, so let's, uh, let's get to work on the Firebird today. <laughs> As you know, we have no lights, no brake lights, no tail lights. We got blinkers, but no tail lights. Since we have blinkers, um, obviously that tells me that the lights are working, the wiring's correct. Possibly the problem is with the switch. And then I noticed that my brother had this and the boxes of parts that he gave me. And it looks like a pretty clean cut, older unit, probably used, pulled out from somewhere else. But Let's pull the one that's in there out. Let's put this one in and let's see if we now have brakes and we have um, tail lights. So with these GM products, there's a little button and it sits like this in the car. The button's over here on this side, I believe. You gotta push that button in and pull this out and it'll pull the whole knob completely out. So luckily I have my AC vent out so I can just simply reach up in here. Let's see if I can do this. Yep, that pin is on this side over here. Pull it forward. So I'm going to come in, push the button in, and then wiggle this out. There it is. Now that's the pin that's out. Now we just need to take this part out right here. All right, let's see now. That may not work either. My biggest screwdriver, it doesn't quite fit. Nope. I would assume this is going to work. Hmm. All right, let's get a pair of uh, needle nose pliers here. Let's see if I can grab on. There's only a little bit, like an eighth of an inch to grab onto, but ah, yes, yes. All that paint that was on there just kept it stuck in place. So let me just unscrew this all the way. We'll get this lock part out and then the bezel, which should be chrome, but it's not. <laughs> so we'll get all that cleaned up. It should be nice and pretty and chrome. Not red. Not red. No, 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 no. So that goes together. Just slips right in there. And it says lights at the top. But of course the paint's covering that. So uh now let's uh let's reach up in there. Let's grab that light switch, pull it out. Oh yeah. 50 plus years of Oklahoma dirt and dust. Just kind of give it a look here, check on the wires, see if I see any damaged wires like a rat's chewed on it or something just to kind of figure out why we don't have brake lights and tail lights it's tight feels good go ahead and pop this off all right so this is going to be a free-for-all kind of a exploratory thing here so from the light switch
from the old light switch here. There we go. Okay, so if this is all the way off, there's no power. There's power there. No power to the white one. No power there. No power there. No power there. Okay, so with them all the way on. One and four, which supposedly are supposed to be blue. So they're saying this is one, so I have no power there. Oh. Any power right there? We got power there. So, in order to get this off, you just got to wiggle it off. You might want to take a screwdriver and kind of lift it up. Okay. So, we'll get this and we'll get this replaced real quick. So, while that's off, we started looking at our wiring. And then remember, no tail lights, no brake lights, but we have front lights. And if we took 12 volts to the rear of the car and we kind of splice it into the green wire in the rear end, our, our tail lights would show up, right? So we know there is, we have bl blinkers, so we know the wiring is good, we know the turn, so the light, the bulbs are good, so there must be something else. So we started looking at the wiring diagram, and all of a sudden, Jonathan from Vinyl Village Garage, he's like, dude, you're missing the brown wire. There should be a brown wire plugged in right here next to the orange wire and the green wire right there. It should You're missing it. So... I started going around and reaching through, and what would I find? Mm -hmm. A wire not hooked up. So we decided to go ahead and try this. We'll stick her in there. Then we'll take our new switch. We will plug it in. Make sure it's nice and down tight and let's uh let's see if we have any brake lights now we'll pull this one out so i can see the front ambers are on and let's go take a look out back okay kind of tight here got the door but um you can see we have lights here and over there let me hit that brake light Go girls, you'll go go for dad. Or is that to go puppies for the dad? Who's the go puppies? Who's the bestest puppy for the dad? Who's his bestest puppy? Who's a go girl? Who's got to go girl for your dad? Can you help dad and the firebird? Yeah, we're almost finished. Yeah, we got the lights working. See, we got the light working. Woo -woo. I know. I'm so happy. I know. Okay, all right. Can dad do the video? Can I? Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, well, as you can see, the puppy is super excited. I am super excited. We got lights, and that is cool. Uh, brake lights work. Everything works. So kind of the, the rundown, if you're battling any wiring issues in your Firebird or Camaro or, or any kind of car, that is, um, check the fuse first. Make sure your fuse is good. Make sure you have power at both ends of that fuse. Um, we replace the switch, which probably need to be replaced anyways. They're cheap, you know, 20 bucks or so. Uh, it came down for us for whatever reason, and again, 
my brother in this car, lots of weird little things that you just go, what in the world? What are you thinking? Why the brown wire was missing? Why there was a white wire in its place not hooked up to the um, actual light switch? We don't know. But as soon as we connected all that, we had power and we had lights and uh, we know how to brake lights and tail lights. So we, we're getting closer to this being road worthy. And as you can tell, I have the headlight part here. That's my next project I'm tackling is rebuilding the grill and all the headlights and getting all that put together. There are a couple of videos I've already done on that. So with that, we got lights working and uh, thank you so much. And we'll see you on Friday for a Friday, Friday video, a Firebird Friday video. And hopefully we'll have some fun on that one. We're doing, what are we doing? I, well, I don't know. You'll have to find out on Friday. So with that, guys, thank you so much. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, see you Friday. Laters. Thank you.